As we get later into the summer months, we often see high temperatures and the California Office of Emergency Services is sharing tips about how you can protect yourself this summer. KSBY News reporter Delaney White reports. The California Office of Emergency Services tells me they're keeping an eye on the southern half of the state throughout the next week when they're expecting a dangerous heat wave to hit the region. The southern portion of the U.S. is bracing for a dangerous heat wave this week, and the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services is preparing for the fallout. And it's going to be a type of heat wave that's not going to cool off overnight, and that really presents a dangerous environment uh, that we are going to keep a very close eye on at the state level. While it might not seem as extreme as a flood or an earthquake, Ferguson says heat can produce worse outcomes. Heat is actually the greatest killer that we see amongst disasters in our country. Heat is also a driver of emergency room visits, especially during the month of July. You know, they're having a great time. They're having so much fun out there, but they don't realize how incredibly hot it is. Dr. Snyder says local emergency rooms tend to see an increase in people during the Mid-State Fair. She says the asphalt at the fair intensifies the heat. And so it intensifies the heat. It's like being at Disneyland where you feel hotter than you've ever felt in your life. It's very similar at the Mid-State State Fair. Snyder says the extremes of age are often defining factors when it comes to who is seeking treatment for heat related illnesses. So people who are very young um, under the age of five or six years old or very old over the age of 75 or 80 years old. Snyder recommends getting out of the heat for a half hour or so and drinking cool fluids if you're feeling flushed, dizzy or nauseous as most cases of minor heat illness will resolve on their own. If none of those symptoms are going away or the person that you're concerned about is confused, that's really the hallmark symptom that brings most people to the emergency department and should bring them to the ER. Health experts recommend consuming more water during hot days, but the amount needed is different for everyone. When you're a larger person or you're a pregnant person, uh, those people tend to need more liquids uh, than the average person. Young children and older adults also tend to need more liquids. Snyder tells me avoiding drinking excess alcohol is another way to stay safe during the heat wave. Reporting in the studio, Delaney White, KSBY News.